Oh yeah, the winner of the Limit Breaker spot is actually Kix because Blue placed highest again. Shoutouts, he's giving, he's giving, he's flexing. Oh, boom, bam. Blue, you're, you're a legend. You King wanna say something to the people? right there. I don't know, come say something. What do you wanna say to them? Just keep it, keep it esports. So, while wow, Blue. Nah, you can't get camera. Right. We're, we're in the middle, we're in the middle of the semis. Oh my God. Am I he's dead? Me? Yo, All what? Right. They really told me to qualify, to earn my spot. I qualified twice. They <laughs> said. Earn it, prove it. <laughs> so can we just like get back to the match and s s talk oh, about? Yeah, he got footstool. He got footstool and died super early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nutty. I seen that. This is Josh King, the Jank King. Wasn't his tag at one point like J four N K? Yeah. No, yeah, I, I remember those. Like I remember that. those days. I mean, this is a very scary character, and character specialists like Josh King, you know, you can't sleep. Can't no, sleep. not at all, man. Um, I saw, what did I see? I saw on Twitter Ethan Foe talking about playing Game & Watch, and I just hope he doesn't... Oh my god. Hey man, Meister, star Meister started a revolution. Just a wave. Meister started a revolution. Big and old, everybody yeah. in the community was talking that good mess. It's like Chicago's losing to a low tier. <laughs> well, look who's the low tier character now. Yeah, little did they know. Game & Watch is actually busted. Oh, that downside oh, should have buried. I was, that was the... That was the weird hit of the down smash. Now he's just kind of, now he's kind of spamming it. Yep, low key. See, that, honestly, that that's one thing that Josh King can like get away with is just sometimes he recognizes situations where it's like, you know what? Maybe if I just keep throwing out this move, I mean, loss of probability. One of these times it'll hit, right? Right. All right. So right now, right now, Josh King's gonna be looking for down smash. Uh, yep. Any down smash or just kind of Randy F smash or up smash to take it right now. I mean, any of his smash attacks will lead to a kill. Um, and if and if not now, one more per, like one more good hit, like now, and it's all guaranteed. So Big Mac literally has to get hit by nothing pretty much because he's gonna be fishing for the smash attacks. Yeah. And this ledge pressure is where it gets hard. Yeah, you can't and really pressure that uh, up smash on that kind of shield because the thing about up smash is it's got so little end lag on it. You gotta yeah. watch out for the chair, that F tilt. As unintuitive as it sounds, Big Mac is doing exactly what he needs to, which is keeping Josh King in the air. If you let him be on the ground, if you let him do stuff like that, it's gonna be a no-go. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's gotta be air juggles, it's gonna be fighting him aerial, which is so hard because it's unbelievable how good Game & Watch's Nair is. Oh, it's, it's I, honestly, like, one of the moves that needs to, like, that definitely pays the bills. Like, you were talking about, oh, oh yeah, the up the out of yeah, shield yeah. and all stuff. Mm -hmm. No, nobody talks about that. He has a Nair that's the size of Rhode Island. It's huge. That was actually it's something huge. I was going to men mention more than anything. It's massive. Because it's like, you think you're safe, right? You think your spacing's on point, and you're, like, above him. You think you're cool? No. No, it, imagine taking Cloud up there and turning it into a sphere. Right. And it's unbelievable. Like a mobile, long-lasting spear. Going for these back airs. Exactly what he needs to be doing. He really needs to be taking this carefully and well executed in the air. Like stuff like oh that, God. man. I love it when just like he gets like random numbers like that, like seven or something, and it just drops like help like again! And look at that! Big back got all three out of the apples. Look, I actually so Josh King's got this really uh every time he goes for that side V, he has this really just horrible smile. And oh, yeah. you can tell, like, he's trying to cheese, right? He did it to Earl at 5%, Earl was saying. He got up throw 9 at 5%. He kept saying something like, I got 9 to 5. I was like, what does that even mean? So that's what yep. it means. But he received his Nair, putting in work that late hit of the up air, taking another percent there. Just keeping Big Mac up in the air, and that's 81%. He couldn't land. That up air pressure is too much. As Big Mac, rough. very smart, you know, you just saw that up smash charging, it's like, alright, you right. know what, that's, honestly, Woo! like, for other characters to think, oh, okay, I can go and punch it, no, just back off, let him press the button. Inkling jab is such a jarring move, it, like, it, it looks like it could be a grab, but it looks like they're coming in, it looks like they might just be running at you, but no, nah, it's a hitbox, and it's a strong one at that. 
I've been seeing Big Mac go for a lot of like back air into well, you see their roller, but like back air into dash attack. If you hit the back air on the shield, they think they're safe to do something, and he's just clocking with that dash attack. But and good DI living there. And again, the late hit of that nair. Kind of cute Big Mac. Got to see from that spot dodge so clutch. Big and now Big Mac's out. got a very very comfortable lead. Now this is like all right. This is the difference between a mid-level player and a top-level player in a scene, right? How patient can the Big Mac be? Oh no, right? <laughs> oh, so, no. oh no. <laughs> so now he's got a whole stock to play with. And literally, it's it's now it's choosing the safe option. Now it's playing lame. You want that win? Play to win, right? And he's seeing it here, spacing out these back airs really brilliantly. Josh King's at this point, Josh King wants any grab or any sort of stray nair to get something started. You see it right here. Oh my god, the three puts so much damage on his shield. And with that fair, get nothing out of it, but Franklin coming into play here. Big Mac still looking so strong. I believe this is it. Oh no, no okay. just out of percent. It's either just out of percent or just does. Oh my god. Earl oh events my right now. god. Earl looks disgusted right now. I can't even blame him. That's a fellow UR pain right there. Oh, oh it reflected the spot bomb. Okay, got the one. He's uh, like Josh King's starting to throw out the nine, yeah. but that forward air. That was, out. That, that's the scary thing. I think the, the mental tax of choosing Inkling as your main, if they fall out of the Booyah percent, how do you kill? Right? You that either need hits. a roller. You can't Booyah, you can't game, Booyah, of Booyah game of Watch. I no. said that a little bit ago. I did, actually. You can't Booyah Game of Watch. Um, thank you, FanFu. Shout outs. But um, <laughs> that was confirmed. I thought that was the case. But I mean, even still, right? So this it, doesn't up it doesn't surprise me that I, like that Game of Watch is unbooyable. Oh, it doesn't surprise me at all. It, he's, yeah, got a, he's a weird weight and yeah. a fast up. So yeah, confirm. You cannot booyah him. So in this, I, even even more so, what I was speaking to before is like in any matchup. So right? once, once you get, once you get booyah, to percent, what happens? Yeah, exactly. exactly. So you gotta rely on your read. You gotta rely on playing really patient. Exactly. Like choosing your good options. What your Big Mac has been doing all night is he's just kind of been hanging back on the back airs, spacing out, walling out with that just one move. He's recognizing how good that is, and that's just been working for him all night. If he manages to get in a position where you can just do that consistently, even a character like Game Watch that has lots of tools that can kind of poke past that. Oh, that's good right. anti air with the up smash. Again! And again! Ooh! Ooh! Okay, okay, Yo. Mark. Fool me once, shame on you. Hey, hey. Fool me twice. Take your stock. Right. Get up attack again. Dislodging with the back air. This is such a patient neutral. Oh yeah. Like neither of them really want to make the first move, right? They're just kind of throwing out their safest option. You see a lot of back air until he has an opening. You throw out your safe move. You throw out your neutral friendly options until you have that opening. And it just so happens that Game & Watch has a lot more neutral friendly options than England does. With that being said though, Big Mac is playing this very, very well. Oh yeah, well. he's back on his patient mode and that drag down with an air almost connected into the up smash. Looking so good here. <laughs> and again, a good catch on the anti-air. I know Josh King is not incapable of bringing stuff like this back, man. There, there's, there's a reason he's made it this far in bracket. I mean, right? we, so, we so literally saw last game right. where on the second sock, he got a berry in the nine. Right, exactly. Stuff like that can happen. And here he comes with the chair. The chair is such a... Even his tilts can kill, man. Like, this this character is a neutral and a killing machine, right? You can call it cheap. You can call it whatever. He just got tools that other characters don't. And if you think that's not fair, take it up with someone that's not me. Ex uh, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> there's some things that Game of Watch can do where if you just get hit by this, like, hey, man, you know what? That's just... That's just between that's just between you and the game. That's man. between you and God, man. That's, that's <laughs> no one else. <laughs> oh, almost terrible DI cost him that game there. Big Mac. Smart air dodge to make it back. That was such a tricky like like even as good as an edge guard that Big Mac is, that kind of air dodge, it's really hard to keep track of. Right. Get up attack there. 
Yep, forward throw just once. Yeah, F throw, get him in that ledge trap situation. And there it is. Back here closing it out, taking a 2-1 game lead. You know, for as defensive as these uh, guys were playing, they're both they're both finishing these games fairly, fairly quickly. Yeah, like, I think it's like the, the neutral is patient until it's broken, and then yep. the advantage state from both of these guys is just oppressive. They just start like swinging at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, you know, when, when Josh King is in the advantage state, it's terrifying, right? He could do, oh, it is, yeah. I, I mean, pick an option, he could he do it. He gets advantage, and then he can, like, literally carry Big Mac from one part of the stage to another. Yeah. And then as soon as he gets ledge, then, oh, okay, well, he just spaces out bacon. What are you supposed to do? And it's vice versa for Big Mac, because as soon as he gets ledge, he just goes back to his ledge trapping and six. I'm interested as to the stage pick here. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, because, I mean, Josh King just keeps running it back. This has been his pick. He runs it back every time. Uh, I'm, my guess is close side blast. Oh, my Woo! God. Okay. Close side blast zones, yeah, earlier kills. I mean, I, I mean, when you get stuff like that, it definitely helps. And also the tri-flats do give Game of Watch a lot of advantage. Yeah, he can move around with him. I guess it's better than Battlefield in that way. Game of Watch can kill a little bit sooner off the sides. And because Booyah is not a threat, the vertical blast zone is literally almost non-existent. Because yeah, if up smash is going to kill, it's going to kill. You know what I mean? Just challenging that down air, that's ballsy. There's not a lot of moves that can challenge that key. Well, earlier, uh, Big Mac was challenging the uh, that with the wall with the up, up smash, smash there, yeah. but a little bit off on the timing there. He tried to fall through the platform and just crawled. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find anything with that down smash there, but kind of... Roller. Oh, but it pushes yeah. him off the ledge. But it puts Big Mac in a pretty unfortunate situation. He manages to get back on stage before Josh can could set up any sort of ledge trapping there. With that there, there with the back air. That back air is paying the rent, man. Uh, both these characters' back airs are moves that will definitely just yeah keep the yeah. lights on and keep the fridge going. Absolutely. Keep it stocked. Some good Gouda cheese, you know what I'm talking hey, about, Dan? Exactly. Huh? Oh, oh, good DI from Big Mac. And the forward air gonna close it out. But 146 on his second stock. This is not looking really good. Big Mac just needs to start racking up damage, needs to find his options, but so difficult to challenge Game and Watch on that shield. You can't. Like, I mean, you borderline it, can't. If you, you can, but you just have to space everything really well, and you gotta be patient and be cognizant of the uppie at all times. And it's just so taxing, like mentally. It is mentally taxing. Like, if you get hit by it, like, just once, even if it's a harmless neutral situation, just already, you're just thinking, man, you really right. just did this. A down smash almost caught him there, but the there, and he, here he is, oh, oh my goodness. I get, he's been trying for that drag down Nair into down smash for a while now. He's getting dangerously close to landing it. Trade saving Big Mac, that back air would have connected, that definitely would have been it. Up smash getting punished with the F tilt. And here comes the bacon ledge trapping Nair. Just keeping Big Mac off stage. Chasing with the dash attack, but up B keeping it safe. Live in the, the bacon there. So jab 117%. So basically, really deep for that edge guard. Oh. I love it, man. Those back edges are so well placed. This ledge trapping from Big Mac has been so excellent, but it does not matter, man. Josh King taking that with two stocks. Just no, no, not even any like flash, like red flashes, critical hit flashes. Right. It was just like, all right, you got hit with there. All right. Yep. He go this way. That could be a testament to bad DI. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's it's like in Smash 4 when you get the sparks in Smash 4 and they live, it's good DI. If there's no sparks and they die, it's bad DI. Same thing with that kind of ending game cutscene. So this is game five now. I'm interested to see where Big Mac goes. So it's counterpicking counterpicking game and watch is kind of difficult because you want a stage that has a good blend of space right. so that you can play campy 
yeah. to get around Game & Watch's toolkit, but you also don't want to give Game & Watch a whole lot of leverage on platforms. FD is a good choice for this. I, for FD to be available, I'm curious as to what Josh King would have banned. Uh, yeah, I'm curious too, because I've... Kalos, uh, uh, probably Lilat. Yeah, Lilat. I mean, I would imagine that the slants would definitely mess up uh, Game Watch's ledge traffic. Game. Sure. And I think also Kalos might have been also off the table as well. Maybe with leaving FD. And if I mean, if FD was banned, I was I was actually thinking that Town and City might have been the pick for this game five. But here we are in FD, a usually banned stage. Here we go get the paint on him. Good forward air. So far, Big Mac's starting off really strong in this game five. Oh, if you would have kept that going. Probably would have got it. There to fair there. I like it. Utilizing your strong aerials, challenge him in the air, make him work for that kind of damage. Game & Watch doesn't have the, the greatest ground speed, right? So if you mix him up in the air on landing, oh, yeah. and you like, you know, get a good air dodge, I mean, you, you can land pretty safely. I mean, if you can just if you just mix the person, the character can't catch up. The dash attack fall off. Playing a dangerous game, trying to punish that up smash. And now then, oh, I like the use of that, utilizing the hitbox of the backer to go right through the bacon, disregarding that ledge trap scenario altogether. The sour head down here. Really patient neutral play from both of these characters right now. Absolutely. Neither of them really want to make that first move there. They really are just tossing out their safest options and, you know, like whoever hits first. I mean, they're at the percent where. Oh, that trade killed? Oh, man, he throws up the bell. Nice shot. He does it all the time. I'm honestly surprised that that trade killed. It didn't look like he threw out a move that would have. Even if it connected, would have probably killed at that percent, unless I'm mistaken. Like that, that exchange happened really quickly. I guess I'm gonna have to go back and look at it. He has no iframes here and he capitalizes beautifully with the back air. Yumi is Good in trouble. Tracking yep. off stage. That is gonna be the stock Big Mac. Those kinds of incredible. edge guards have been putting in the clutch for Big Mac all night. And he's just continuing to do it. That's what ha that's what happens when you are as consistent of a player as Big Mac. You just have that kind of comfort knowing that. You can go off stage and challenge like that. Oh, nice parry. Just lodging him out of the air. The upbeat. Oh, once again, keeping Josh King safe. Dash attack. Back air has got to watch out for this edge guard scenario. Going deep again. And that's going to be it. Oh, big man looking surprised there. Just about as surprised as me. There's no world where that should have killed there. That's, I mean, that's. That was a deep edge guard, and it paid off for Josh King, so now Big Mac's got to be careful. Oh, man, this is where Josh King can start putting some big damage here. That parry does nothing for the multi-hit. This is the hard attack phase of fighting game and watch. Oh, man. Up air. Up smash, but air dodging out of it. Yeah, I love the idea there to try to get it, but... Big Mac still maintaining control here, but he is always 1-9 away from losing. And Josh King will go for it. Up in the up air. He's got to watch out for also getting buried. You don't want to get hit with that down smash, especially at this kind of percent. Trying to two-frame it. So lucky not getting the buried. He's almost out of smash. ink. He's almost out of ink. He's got to charge now. Char you got to fast ball and charge, man. Give him another chair. If Josh King can keep his cool here, he can Big Mac take is, this from him. Big Mac kept his cool right there. He knew that after the up smash, the chair was coming out, so he didn't want to move too much forward. Oh my god, downer almost took it. He goes so low with the downer of his own. Any opening now, that up smash is going to come in as such a play. Big Mac has thrown out so many hitboxes. Josh King could just catch him with the up smash, but, oh, but finally! Oh my god, he's still living. He's still living. Folks, this is better than pay-per-view. Uh. Trying to find anything here. These two literally are a sneeze away. Oh my god. <laughs> Any sort of errant smash attack. 
bro. Oh my god, the tech. the tech! That was so godlike! Oh no, he bacon the wrong lady! Oh, oh no, he couldn't do it twice. Oh my gosh, man. Was that one technical? Oh I couldn't my see. god, I, that was that was pretty close. I'm I don't know, like he managed to do it once, but he couldn't do it twice. Oh man, who who's gonna stop this man? Who's gonna stop him?